Meet David Schwartzman. He's a biogeochemist and a green Marxist. That means he's somebody who's interested in Are We Alone, but he's also interested in politics. For example, his most recent book is The Earth Is Not For Sale. But I met him at a conference in Hawaii, and he had just finished this book, Life, Temperature, and the Earth, The Self-Organizing Biosphere. He's also someone who believes there's a galactic club that we're going to join, and the, and the other aliens are going to help us fill out the form, and here's an article about that, Joining the Galactic Club. I sat down with him in his home just outside of Washington, D.C., and we talked about the question, are we alone? What is your name? David Schwartzman. Oh, are you a life form? I, uh, I assume so. Are you an alien? Uh, yeah. Okay, why do you think you're an alien? Well, because the whole galaxy is full of uh, life forms, and uh, you can call them all alien. You study the earliest, uh, I guess, the earliest Earth, when life got started about four billion years ago or so. Yeah. So what can you tell us about the environment four billion years ago or three billion years ago on Earth, when life got started? Uh, the early Earth, the best evidence we have now is that the early Earth was uh, impacted by the residual material that had accreted to form the planets, particularly the terrestrial planets, as well as the influence of the uh, migration, apparently, of Jupiter and Saturn uh, around the solar system. A recent article in Scientific American goes into this. So this apparently induced uh, additional bombardment of the planetary surfaces of those terrestrial planets. These uh, impacts, which we see, of course, on the moon, the craters on the moon, uh, arguably um, resulted in near sterilizing impacts. That is, the oceans may have been boiled, uh, and while the origin of life might have occurred before, uh, let's say, 4 billion or so, 4.3 billion, um, the survivors apparently at the root of the phylogenetic trees are hypothermophiles, although there is a, a still a debate about that as well. Let's talk about the galactic cl club, the galactic club. Now, you think that there are intelligent aliens out there that think that we are not good enough or not smart enough, don't have our poop together enough to, join, to fill out a form to join their club. Is that right? I think that's the most plausible explanation for the Great Silence. The Credentials Committee of the Galactic Club uh, is making an evaluation based on observations of the pathetic state of our pr primitive civilization. So it's an ongoing evaluation. Yes, I believe so. And uh, this, again, uh, the, the, the argument for this is that even if there were just one, a few uh, advanced civilizations that emerged uh, billions of years ago in the galaxy, it would take only on the order of 10 million years or so for them to, at sublight speeds, to uh, send probes, which are called Bracewell probes, to send them throughout the galaxy and uh, station them on virtually every uh, um, planetary system with uh, planets that had uh, propensity for developing life. Now, at the, you've seen the movie Contact, I guess, with uh, Jodie Foster playing the role of Jill Tarter, and she listens, and she hears the aliens, and they build a spaceship, and then they go... Have you seen this movie? Yeah. Okay. I read the novel, too. Okay, good. I haven't read the novel. I just bought it. Uh, but at the end, some child says, are we alone to her? And she says the answer, well, if we are alone, that would be an awful waste of space. <laughs> Do you agree with that? Uh, that kind of uh, that kind of implies some uh, uh, cosmic intelligence that's looking over us. So I'm not a, I'm not uh, a believer in that. So if we are alone, it's not a waste of space. Huh? Well, who's to judge? Finally, I would just say that uh, I certainly don't. If I if my position is we're not alone, but again, obviously, I can't prove this. But that's my uh, judgment based on uh, science, the 
the cutting edge of science as we know it. And of course, this is the subtext for the astrobiology research program.